Good morning. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the Finca. Another beautiful day. We've been thinking, we've been talking. <laughs> we've been thinking. We should stop thinking actually stop because we cause ourselves <laughs> more work. Um, yes, over the weekend um, we've been thinking what we can do with this area. Um, we were going to stone it all as you know and then we realised we wouldn't have enough big stones to do that. So then we took a trip over to Lillian and um, Chris's, Tales from the Cave Side, to look at um, what stuff they'd got down, um, which we quite liked. Um, it's but we just, just not right, is we it? We just, just don't not... think it's it's right here, to be honest. So, so what are we going to do? Originally, hmm. we were going to deck it, and then with the cost of timber and everything, we thought that's going to be hell of an expense and money we can't afford to spend at the moment. Um, but you know what? We're here for life. Um, we only do it once. So we've gone back now to our original plan, and that's what we're going to do. Yes. But. <laughs> but. <laughs> but. <laughs> we're going to do We've got these, because we found this great supply of big beams, floor joists and things, um, we're going to actually, be, this is basically going to be a big water tank if it ever rains heavily, which it does occasionally. So we're going to build a raised deck and it's going to be built in the line with the sleepers, which will be a logical, nice, it's a big area, it's five meters by three meters, lovely for a table. Um, well, so we're going to carry on and stone this up now, level with the sleeper. Sleeper. So that gives a nice big, it's a big area, it might not, I don't know if it tells on camera or not. And then build a big, we're going to do it raised, obviously to stop the wood sitting in water when it rains heavily, which it does occasionally. And to make a proper step, so it's not a trip hazard. Yeah. Um, so we we've been searching for more stones this morning. I think we've just got enough yeah, to do we've got this, enough. this <laughs> bit here. Um, but then, yes. because we're having <laughs> timber decking down, this wall needs a lot of work doing on it, pointing up, cleaning out. It's basically it's just crumbly sand. We don't want it to fall down. Uh, we were going to leave it because if it was stones here, it wouldn't be a problem. But because it's decking, we don't want to get any mess on our lovely new deck. So we're going to get all that wall cleaned up and pointed. And while we're at it, <laughs> we've decided. <laughs> yeah, this in. here needs all clearing out. Um, it will give us a, a great storage area. Mark suggested a bar. We might like that idea. Yes. Um, but it's full of rubbish at the moment so, well, and again we don't want to be clearing that out once we've got our nice new deck down. So it's all changed. It's all changed. It's a lot more work for us. <laughs> but luckily this week's supposed to be a bit cooler. And it is Thir a bit cooler 30 today 30 degrees, 90, yeah. 91-ish, something like that. I'll show you what's in here anyway, what we've got to do. So that's our little room. Um, I hope we can make it out on camera. I'll take you in as best I can. Um, you can see some high quality rotted olive here. Look at the state of that. The roof's fallen down. Um, sorry if it's a bit bright with the sun. It's full of rubbish. Tabby likes to sleep in here um, and on the floor. So we're going to get that all out. But first of all, we're going to get this area done. So we've got a nice big wide platform to, to work on. Um, so start barrowing stuff in. We are, of course, still going to be getting the, the bamboo on the roof of this, but they all need oiling first, so Sharon's going to do that, and then we can crack on with that a bit later on. But while it's cool, we've got a bit of cloud cover. Um, get the heavy work done. Before we do that, we have to think about our great vines. We're going to go up over here. We're going to put joists across here, and hopefully it'll grow all the way across. I was going to put it in here, um, but we've got a big concrete pad in there that holds this up. So we're going to put him over there. There he is. One at that corner, one at that corner. Train him up the wall, which is again another reason we need to get that wall sorted out. And then it can go across the, the joists as time goes on. In the meantime, we've got our shade cloth to give us some cover. Right, so we'll carry on. We'll get, we'll get there eventually. Right, so the corner one's in. I'm going to put a line all the way down there, get them level. I've leveled in with a laser level off that and off this side. Um, heavy ones we need. He's quite heavy. Which way around? Ah. Right, 
to be a bit creative with this one. Must weigh about 100 kilos. Um, all I gotta do is get it out. That's the opposite way of going in. Right, so we we'll move it into place. <laughs> right, so we've got the front row in. Big, heavy things. They're not going to move. All, he says, is another one of his all we've got to do. Now he's just filling the rest. Um, we're running thin on stones, but we should just about have enough. Um, so we'll crack on with it. Found a couple more. Lovely. Whack it in. Right, nearly there. Just this little hole to fill. We've just been having another hunt around. Found a few more reasonable ones. They're a bit mm, dirty, some of them, but it'll clean up in time. Um, so yeah, quite a bit of cloud today, unfortunately it's not over us, so we're getting very hot now. <laughs> just as a little aside, I wanted to share this with you, just come out to get some more sand and they're both just laying down in the straw. Goatee was actually asleep with his head in the bucket, but of course as soon as I appear with the camera he's woken up. Well, it's just so cute, they don't do a lot. Right, so that bit's done. We've just damped it down to try and flatten the sand down a bit. Um, while we're at it, we want to try and do under the barbecue as well. If you remember, we said we were going to do it with the same stuff that we did the the main bit there with, um, but I don't think that's going to go well under there. <laughs> so um, we've got a few flat ones, thinner, flatter ones, which should go perfectly in there. So we're going to try and get that done as well today. Right, so. These are all ready for pointing in. Under the barbecue is done, that's ready for pointing in. And now it's time for a nice cold beer. In the morning, we're going to get them pointed in and then finish that roof off. Um, we, we wanted to do this today because they said it was going to be cloudy, but um, it wasn't. So, not to worry, it's done now anyway. Um, so, there we go. Right, it's a new day. Um, time to get these pointed in, get them finished off. We've had a thought about the decking as well. We're going to have it flush at this end. Um, because the land slopes down, the decking will, if we do the decking level, any water that gets under will collect and hopefully escape at that end. Um, so yeah, so we don't need to have a step here after all, but it will slowly step up towards the back. Put some little LED lights in it maybe to illuminate the path. Should look lovely. Anyway, let's get these pointed in. Right, okay, so they're all watered in. Um, any discrepancies we can touch up at a later date. But for now, they're not going to move when we start clearing out the little room and wheeling the barrow over it. Right, okay, we thought we'd just take this opportunity um, to give you a bit of an update because we've changed our minds so many times. But we haven't changed our minds. It's evolved 
so much from what the original project. So here's where we're at. This used to be a solid wall that had been filled in because the original lintel was still there. We knocked that out, put this gate on it, we made this gate ourselves, we made everything ourselves and put this step in so we could get all the heavy massive stuff into here to do the work. So let's have a look. So inside, this is the upper courtyard, it all looked like this, full of rubble and knee high in weeds. Um, so we cleared all that and we've created this beautiful pathway here um, just out of huge stones that were lying around the property really fortunate to have these free materials and they're absolutely stunning um, to create ourselves um, a nice walkway to access our barbecue outdoor kitchen we'll talk about in a bit um, we put the railway sleepers in and across here we we're going to have um, a nice some some rafters eventually and grow our vines over there but for the time being we've put in this temporary shade which is working brilliantly um, the generator here was originally outside but when we got donkey and goatee the first time we switched it on uh, they were terrified so we brought it in here with the intention of building a soundproof box um, but actually they don't bother now they've been so used to it over the winter um, so we're going to put it back outside and still build a soundproof box for it but it'll clear all this area here the rest of this rubble and mess will go and uh, yeah we should have a great great outdoor living space we say these are our final plans, you never know. <laughs> so, this is our barbecue area, it's huge. Um, our barbecue smoker that we made ourselves, there's a couple of videos on that if you're interested in how we made it. Um, we put this roof up a couple of days ago. Um, this is just gonna have a shade, the bamboo's here. We're gonna get this on today to make it a nice shady barbecue area. And I'm gonna build a little, I don't know, kitchenette thing here, workspace, work surface for the barbecue. It's perfect. It's quite far apart but it's not that far. Um, yes, the next thing, um, if you can see it on there, is this thing which I did mention the other day or earlier in this video, I can't remember. Um, this used to have a roof on it, I don't know if you can tell from there with the sail shape but it fell down years ago. Um, so we're going to put a roof back on that. Not exactly sure what we're going to do with it, but it's full of rubble as I showed you earlier. We're going to get all that out. Probably, possibly, hopefully, as Mark suggested, thank you Mark, make it into a bar, which would be nice. Um, it's going to be a useful area anyway. We'll, we'll see how that evolves um, when we start working on it. But at least we've got our path down now, so we can get the barrier in, get all the rubbish out easily. And finally, well not finally because there's loads to do, um, the walls have got to be pointed and down here we're going to put some decking. Um, that was our original plan all along, we've changed our minds three or four times, we're now back to plan A. So it's going to be raised at one end, level at the other, um, which Andy's already explained to you, and this shade needs lifting because I'm not that tall, it's almost touching my head. But that's easy to do um, because it's going to be a few years before the vines grow to provide shade, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at, folks. So hopefully that answers a few questions. Um, right, today we're going to get this roof sorted out, get the bamboo on it. These all need oiling, so I'm going to lift them down because I've not screwed them in yet. Um, so they can be oiled easily but I want to make um, a box to go around this flue um, one to hold it sturdy and two to carry the edges of the bamboo because obviously I'm going to have to cut the bamboo around it and just a straightforward simple box obviously the front piece the ends are going to have to be cut at the same angle as that which is still set on my saw um, so I'll, I'll do that and I've got a couple of joist hangers I'm just going to use to fix it in place easy as that um, so yes yeah, get them cut I should have added actually because I'm sure someone will comment um, this doesn't get anywhere near hot enough no matter what kind of a crazy fire um, we have in here this doesn't get hot at all there's no danger of it um, scorching the wood or charring it or anything um, the heat concentrates inside um, so just for your peace of mind so here's my blocks that one's slightly angled so it'll fit in line with that I'm just going to file at the ends so it doesn't split it. And literally just screw them together.
and the other side and um, he'll sit around there now obviously to hold him in position and um, mark a line where I want my joist hangers to go with that done I can lift them all down he says ready for painting oiling even I need to keep them the right way around though so I'll go and lay them out in order Right, so they're all oiled time to get them back in position And get some screws in them so they don't fly away, not that they're likely to. Right, so we're all up, it's all in, the box is in for around the flue, time to get the bamboo on the roof. All I've got to do, the difficult bit, is cutting out round the flue itself. Um, and we need to get it on. I had to consider um, making it so we could roll it back um, in the winter to get sun on it um, by putting like eyelets in them and threading a, a piece of wire through it, you know, like fencing wire sort of thing. Um, but for speed, and because we're having a barbecue tonight, we're having chicken stuffed with parmesan, wrapped in bacon, chicken breast that is, should be lovely. I want to get it done. Um, so I'm just going to offer it up and see if I can figure out how to cut round that. I'm going to cut it with a pair of scissors. It normally cuts alright with a decent pair of scissors. Sometimes you need a bit of welly and just staple it on with my staple gun. Right, it's up. Hello Jesse. Jesse's squeaking. She's usually singing. You can quite often hear her in the background singing away. Um, it's up. It doesn't give quite as much as we would have hoped for. It's supposed to be 50% this, but for 20 euros, which is all it was, we might get another one to stick over the top to double it up, which would do the trick. But it, it does make a difference. Um, so we'll see how we go with it. They say it's no problem to put one over the, another one on top of it. Happy days, we can have our barbecue. It's another beautiful morning. Um, the canes on top of there, on top of the barbecue cover, have actually worked really well last night. Um, we're probably going to put another layer on just to make it a little bit more shady, but they're alright for now. Plus, they're out of stock anyway now, everyone's bought them, <laughs> so we'll have to wait. Um, today, a job I'm really, really, really not looking forward to getting this cleared out and sorted. Um, I think what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take this bit of wall down to make it the same width to make it more accessible. We're going to put all the stones aside and keep them. All the wood we're going to put aside for burning in the winter. And um, anything else, there's a few roofing tiles in there that are alright. We're going to keep those. Everything else is going in the hole outside. And we've got a big hole, it's an old hole we've been filling in over the years. It's not worthy of a skip, there's still room in that, so let's get on with it. Got all my equipment. Goatee's cheering me on. <laughs> See what we've got in here. and save these stones. They always come in handy.
quite appropriate to be honest having the the reeds the canes on top of the thing because this is what they made all the floors out of originally and indeed all the ceilings in the house and you can see this little bit that tabby cat's lying on well unfortunately it's your favorite spot at the moment but i'm gonna have to evict you We're getting through it. I've um, got a bit of a dilemma though, because this piece of olive here is pretty solid. Um, if it was a bit further in, we've got one at the back there which looks pretty solid as well. We could have used that to make like um, a bench and kept the original thing. Um, so I don't know what to do with this. Um, I'm going to have a little think. I'm going to carry on try and clear the rest of this out of the back there, but have a little think if there's any way we can incorporate it because um, it's pretty nice actually now it's a bit precarious but <laughs> wash your fingers I'm going to try and take these tiles down now we've got the wheelbarrow in here for any other bits but we can reuse these pass them to Sharon Down. Right, so we're all clear. Everything that's loose is off. Um, we just got to get it off the floor now because it was unavoidable. Um, we, we tried to put it into the barrow as we took it down, so we'd have to pick it up. But we're gonna have to pick this up. So let's get it cleared. Right, well it's done, um, you can see down here the walls, you can make them out, um, need quite a bit of um, work doing on them, there's holes you can see right through, but the floor is stone, slabs, uh, which is fantastic, that saves us a job, um, so I think initially we're going to give it a good vacuum, give it an initial clear out, um, get rid of all this rubbish, do the walls a bit, and um, decide what to do with it. And the other thing we want to get done now is get all this wood, all those old olive branches, rotten and otherwise, get them out of the way outside, ready for processing for firewood. Um, so let's get on with it. It's very dirty work this. Um, this is some kind of basket. Um, we thought we might be able to jet wash it and, and keep it, hang it on the wall somewhere, but it's shot it basically um, and this uh, there were loads of these in the old bodega um, they go between the, the layers of the grapes um, on the press to catch all the uh, the stalky bits and the pips and things and then obviously the juice runs through um, we got rid of all the others and again we thought if this was in any kind of condition we'd keep one for, for posterity but as you can see it's no good so the bin it is. It's sad, but there you go. Well, 
Right, look at that. Hopefully you can make that out all right. Fantastic, that's one bit of floor we don't need to do. We can leave that pretty much as it is. Clean it up, obviously. Point it up, obviously. But um, generally, just got to blend our new thing into it. Most of these are gone. Sharon was struggling with these big ones. I'll get out of the way. <clears throat> We are going to be using these for something as well. We don't know what yet. It evolves. Well, that brings us to the end of another video. Sorry. <laughs> um, we've made good progress though. I am so pleased that we got this cleared out. It was such a mess. Yes, and there was a, a lot of mess in there. And it just needed to be gone before we obviously make this all super pretty. Yes. There's still quite a bit of mess in other places, but yeah. yeah. But loving the stone floor, so brilliant. Um, we've got our shade above the barbecue, albeit we could probably do with a little bit more. It's about 50% and it was okay last night when you did it the It does make a big difference, but yeah, I think another one on top. Another one on top would be a little bit better, I think. Yeah. So, I think now we need to, well, we want to get this decking on because it's supposed to be getting hot again this weekend. Yes. We've had a, a week, haven't we, where it's been better temperatures, um, but we really want to get this done. We've still got a lot of summer ahead of us, um, but hopefully... So we just keep battling on. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're not exactly sure yet, but if you want to find out... Tune um, in on Sunday and find out. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you to all our subscribers, new and old, and everyone that supports us through Patreon, buys us coffee. And Couldn't YouTube membership. YouTube membership. Couldn't <laughs> do without you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks a lot. We'll see you Sunday.